first thing we're going to do is break the tape and open the box. This is a sheet that shows you how to unload the printer. Next is the installation CD for both Windows and Mac. If in the future you misplace this disc, you can download the software and drivers at 123.hp.com forward slash laserjet. The next item is the setup poster, which is the basic setup instructions for your printer, similar to what we're showing in this video. This is a regional warning sheet which explains how to get support for your printer depending on your region. These papers offer additional information for your printer. And the last document in the box is the getting started guide for your printer. This provides information on setting up additional features for your printer. This is a USB cable for a direct connection from your printer to your computer. This is a two wire phone cable for setting up your fax line. And lastly, the power cord. Only use the supplied power cable with your printer. Set the box on its side. Using the plastic bag, pull the printer out of the box and set the box aside. Remove the styrofoam end caps and set the printer flat on the table. Remove the printer from the bag. Next, we remove all the visible orange tape and clear plastic from around the printer. Lift the scanner lid and remove the sheet of styrofoam and close the scanner lid. Remove the protective plastic from the automatic document feeder's paper guides. Slide out the paper tray. Slide the paper width guides to the outermost position and slide the paper length guide all the way out. Fan a stack of unused plain white paper and then load it into the paper tray. Adjust the paper width and length guides. Slide in the paper tray. Remove the protective plastic covering the HP logo. Turn to the back of the printer. If you're going to set up the printer for faxing, make sure that you use a supplied two-wire phone cord. Plug one end to your printer's faxing port and the other end into your phone line. Now let's connect the power cord. Only use a supplied power cord for your printer. Remove the twist tie from the power cord and plug it into the rear of the printer. Plug the other end of the power cord into a wall outlet. You can adjust the display for better viewing. Press the power button to power on the printer. The printer will begin initializing and make some noise.
From the printer control panel, you will have to choose your language. Select your language and then touch Yes to confirm. Then select your country or region and then touch Yes. Select how you want to manage your printer and touch Yes to confirm. On your computer, open a web browser. Go to 123.hp.com forward slash laserjet. Click download. Click Run or open the downloaded file. During the installation, Windows might ask you to confirm if you want to open the file or allow changes to your computer. Click Run, Continue, or Yes to continue the installation. The HP Easy Start Utility files extract and launch. Click Continue. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms and then click Continue. If necessary, select your printer from the list and then click Continue. Select either Full Software and Drivers or Basic Drivers. HP recommends installing Full Software and Drivers to get the best functionality of your printer. Click Continue. If prompted, click Run, Continue, or Yes to continue the installation. The software downloads and launches. From the Software Selection screen, you can customize your software installation by clicking Customize Software Selections. Click Next. On the Installation Agreements and Settings screen, select the checkbox to agree to the terms and then click Next. The installer prepares the software for installation. Click Next. Change any desired options for your printer and then click Next. Web Services is enabled for your printer. Click Next. For faster service, more efficient support, and product support alerts, register your printer with HP. Click Finish to complete the installation. This has been the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP Color LaserJet Pro MFP M277DW.